I'm a retired United States Marine, married to a Japanese lady living in Yokohama, Japan. I, well, first of all, my wife is 21 years younger than me, so I have a, a lot of motivation to correct a problem I've had for about three or four years. I've been working with a urologist at Navy Hospital in Yokosuka, Japan, on an erectile dysfunction issue. We've tried, I think, every protocol available for pills, injections, uh, a little bit of counseling, and nothing seemed to work. And I was getting really frustrated with it. And uh, quite frankly, that part doesn't work. It kind of takes away from your self-image as a man. Okay. Plus, having a uh, hot <laughs> wife that yeah, you can understand that. But anyway, uh, so the doctor recommended that uh, I get a uh, get surgery to correct it. So okay, I went researching what was available in the U.S. and uh, very expensive. Plus, I had to travel there, and I don't particularly want to go to the U.S. I, obviously, Japan was not an option. They don't really do that, and it would have been way too expensive. So. I checked Thailand, and I can't remember exactly uh, what, what I saw on the internet that said, well, try India. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I Googled it and just came across uh, your, what like, you have here. Life book. Life book. And so, okay, let me give it a shot. So I sent an email, got an almost immediate response and got in contact with uh, Dr. Suni, and did I pronounce that right? Yeah. Suni? And Dr. Ashish, and he went through the videos that he made, which were very helpful, mm. explained everything that I needed, or what I wanted. And I said, okay, let's do this. So uh, I made the arrangements, and I didn't, didn't start this until about the uh, mm, beginning of March. So this was quite <laughs> Kid. I got really excited. I said, okay, let's get this done. And so got the uh, flight direct from uh, Tokyo Haneda to uh, Indira Gandhi. Hmm. And I was met by a representative, which took me to the hotel that I was staying at. And it is just a wonderful place. Hmm. People are friendly. Uh, in, in, in Japan, uh, they're very polite. And they're Japanese friendly, mm -hmm. but mm, you know it's kind of almost like they have to. Here, the smiles are real, and the the care, the hospitality was real. So I got a place for two weeks. It was uh, a really nice airy room, and the breakfast buffets were amazing. So I got in on a uh, it was a Sunday. And Monday, I had my first appointment with uh, the doctor. We were thinking about doing this on a Tuesday. But he came in, apparently he had time, and said, okay, let's do it today. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got prepped, went through the process. And uh, I wasn't 100% sure what to expect. But uh, to my way of thinking, everything went just super. The only kind of a surprise thing I had is how much the initial spinal tap mm -hmm. uh, felt. Now, I had one uh, previously, so I knew kind of what to expect, but uh, yeah, it went numb, and then, you know, the big thing is just lying there, not knowing because you can't feel a thing. And then it was finished, I mean, maybe 90 minutes, I think, something like that. Mm -hmm. So then they took me to a room and uh, waited for a while. And then, the next day came the grand unveiling. <laughs> I took the bandage off and wow. <laughs> anyway, I am just totally thrilled, happy, and pleased mm -hmm. with this. It makes me feel like a new person. And uh, the treatment here, the whole thing was just for me a wonderful experience. This is my first time in India and I'm quite impressed and really enjoyed it. So,